Hi guys, and welcome back to chapter 14. We're moving right along, guys. Um, as always, we're gonna recap chapter 13 a little bit before we head into chapter 14 and figure out what's going on uh, with Opal and Winn-Dixie. In 13, we really just learned about her daily routine, um, kind of what they do every day in the summer and what they've gotten used to doing. Um, they do that Gertrude's Pets every morning, and then it looks like they go to the library and listen to a story from Miss Franny Black, and then they get on the bike and um, head off to Gloria Dump's house. But in order to get to Gloria Dump's house, their favorite place to go, it seems like they have to drive past Dun or ride past Dunlap and Stevie Dewberry's house. And Opal and Stevie Dewberry have been getting into arguments every day. Um, it looks like Gloria Dump is under the impression that these boys maybe just want to be her friend and they're kind of, you know, picking at her in a certain way to, you know, kind of tease her and be friendly. But Opal is not having it. She said, I don't like it that these, this is how these boys are trying to be my friend then. I don't want to be their friend if they're going to act this way. Um, and I kind of have to agree with her a little bit, especially on Stevie. I don't know about Dunlap, if he was really um, in the argument too much. It was between Stevie and Opal, it seemed like. And he used a pretty poor choice of language, I thought, to describe one of our other characters, Otis. Um, he used this word, retarded, to describe our other character, Otis, in Chapter 13. Um, and you know I hate this word. We're, um, it's not a word that's appropriate to use anymore. Definitely um, not the correct language. Um, typically, you use this word when you're trying to be hurtful. So that's kind of the impression I get about Stevie. Maybe that'll change. Um, but I can kind of see why Opal doesn't want to hang out with him now because he's calling one of our other characters this word. And this word means um, when someone just isn't as mentally capable as other people. Um, mostly now we use mentally challenged. We'll use that word um, because the word retarded can be quite hurtful, um, especially, you know, directly towards a person that may be mentally challenged. Um, so this isn't very appropriate to use, and it, but it is what Stevie called Otis. Um, and I hope that Otis isn't mentally challenged. Maybe we'll learn that about him. I think Stevie's just being mean. Um, let me know what you think, though, about it. Maybe he really is. Maybe you think that? Tell me about it in our discussion post. What are your thoughts? Um, the other word I wanted to use is an emotion word. Um, it can kind of be your thoughts towards somebody else. I hope you try your best not to be this way yourself. Um, but this word Opal used was ignorant. She said that Dunlap and Stevie Dewberry are ignorant. She said that to um, Gloria Dump. And ignorant just means that when you tell someone something so many times and they just don't want to believe you. For no reason, for not really a specific uh, example or wh why they won't believe you, but they don't. You could tell them over and over and over again that this this pencil is orange. I have an orange pencil. And they're not going to believe you. They're going to say, no way. That's not an orange pencil. It's blue. It's blue. It's blue. And they're never going to believe you that it's orange, even though it clearly is. You can see it right in front of your face. They're being ignorant. Even though that you can see it and the right answer is right in front of you, they don't think it's correct for some reason. So that's the other vocab word I wanted to pull out of chapter 13. All right, but let's get into chapter 14. Sometimes I told Gloria the story Miss Franny Block ju had just told me. Or I imitated Otis tapping his pointy-toed boots and playing for all those animals. And that always made her laugh. And sometimes I made up a story about Gloria Dump and Gloria Dump would listen to it all the way through from beginning to end. She told me I used to, or she told me she used to love to read stories, but she couldn't anymore because her eyes were so bad. Can you get some really strong glasses? I asked her. Child, she said, they don't make glasses strong enough for these eyes. One day, when the storytelling was done, I decided to tell Gloria that Otis was a criminal. I thought maybe I should tell an adult about it, and Gloria was the best adult I knew. Gloria, I said, mm-hmm, she said back. Do you know Otis? I don't know him, but I know what you tell me about him. Well, he's a criminal. He's been in jail. Do you think I should be afraid of him? For what? I don't know. For doing bad things, I guess. For being in jail. Child, said Gloria, let me show you something. She got up out of her chair real slow and took my arm. 
Let's the two of us walk all the way to the back of this yard. Okay, I said. We walked and Winn-Dixie followed right behind us. It was a huge yard and I had never been all the way in the back. When we got to the big old tree, we stopped. Look at this tree, Gloria said. I looked up, there were bottles hanging from every branch. There were whiskey bottles and beer bottles and wine bottles all tied with string and some of them were clanking against each other, making a spooky kind of noise. Me and Winn-Dixie stood and stared up the tree and the hair on the top of his nose rose up a little bit and he growled deep in his throat. Gloria Dump pointed her cane at the tree. What do you think about this tree? I said, I don't know. Why are all those bottles on it? To keep the ghosts away, said Gloria. What are ghosts? The ghosts of all the things I've done wrong. I looked at all the bottles on the tree. You did that many things wrong, I asked her. Mm-hmm, said Gloria, and more than that. But you're the nicest person I know, I told her. Don't mean I haven't done bad things, she said. There's whiskey bottles on there, I told her, and beer bottles. Child, said Gloria Dump, I know that. I'm the one who put them there. I'm the one who drank them, too. My mama drank, I whispered. I know it, said Gloria Dump. The preacher says that sometimes she couldn't stop drinking. Mm-hmm, said Gloria again. That's the way it is for some folks. We get started and we can't stop. Are you one of those people? Yes, ma'am, I am. But these days, I don't drink nothing stronger than my coffee. Did the whiskey and beer and wine, did they make you do all the bad things that are ghosts now? Some of them, said Gloria Dump. Some of them I would have done anyway, with alcohol or without it. It was before I learned. Learned what? Learned what is the most important thing. What's that? I asked. It's different for everyone, she said. You find out on your own. But in the meantime, you got to remember, you can't always judge people by the things they've done. You got to judge them by what they're doing now. You judge Otis by the pretty music he plays and how kind he is to them animals, because that's all you know about him right now. All right? Yes, ma'am, I said. And them Dewberry boys, you try not to judge them too harsh either. All right? All right, I said. All right then, said Gloria Dump, and she turned and started walking away. When Dixie nudged me with his wet nose and wagged his tail, when he saw I wasn't going, he trotted after Gloria. I stayed there. I was, I, I stayed where I was, and I studied that tree. I wondered if Mama, wherever she was, had a tree full of bottles, and I wondered if there was if I was a ghost to her, the same way she sometimes seemed like a ghost to me. And that's the end of chapter 14. That was a really good chapter, guys. It was kind of serious. All the rest of our chapters with Gloria Dump, I think, have been kind of fun. Um, that one got a little serious on us, so I can't wait to see maybe some of your discussion posts on that. Um, a little bit more about our main character. I'm still thinking about her mama. See if she pops up anywhere in our book. Um, but look out for chapter 15 coming soon. We'll be going over some of those vocab words. All right, guys. Bye.